we'll go to the next slide, if I can remember how to do it. You have all these feeder bands. You have that front right in here. A good place for tornadoes is right close to the front. Just east of, You actually have a little bit of an increase in vorticity. So where these guys intersect with near that frontal boundary is a real good spot to have tornadoes. And even though, Fran, you can also see this front here is producing heavy, heavy rains all back in here in Raleigh and stuff. Um, in terms of tornadoes, here's the track. Most of the tornadoes on the east side, but there's a few of those anomalous ones that will trick you, and they're actually a little bit west of the front of this. That kind of surprised me when I looked at that. I thought, geez. And that does sort of fit the composites they show. But Tropical Storm Francis. This one I, I'm showing not because it was such a great storm. You can see it comes in and the tornadoes end up being well east back over in Louisiana. It's kind of a, a weak storm, so it wouldn't be one of the big outbreak events. But I wanted to show this particular slide here to show the F1. This is just the reflectivity. Who's on my weather? Will, you're a severe weather guy. Or no, Mike, e Mike yeah. Exter. <laughs> Dexter, does this look very exciting to you? You see a a a, a beaver? Uh, see a banded weed gecko region? I just see a blob. That's a blob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blob, tornado blob, tropical tornado blob. That's one of the trouble with tropical systems. When you look at the, the, the radar, it's a blob. You look at the planes. And Weather Wiz is not just excited, he's having an orgasm. <laughs> 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 I prefer to check that's, that's a tremendous thing. So when you're looking at the you're looking at your tornadoes, you're looking at your tornadoes, the thing that you have to look is you gotta look at your Doppler and you you got your outbound, your inbound, giving you this the, the sheer telling you that there's a rotation. But then one of the problems with tropical is you get far too far out, some of them are pretty, the circulations are pretty low base tops and stuff. You might not see the meso very well on it. So um, you're counting on this guy telling you, and he probably will, but he might not. And then you always have the worry of anytime you're basing stuff on a meso, not all mesos are real tornadoes. I don't know what the distribution is with hurricanes, but I know what, when we're dealing with supercells, it's, it's, it's not at all. Study by Roger Edwards showing when they're exiting tornadoes. This is a pretty small study, but thought I'd show it just again. So even the exiting tornadoes look like most of them are east of the track. So these tornadoes have to track back over here, but um, even when they exit and they come across the mountain, sometimes you can get tornadoes with them. Who remembers this storm? Who's our trop? Josh. Where's Josh? Is he here? Okay, Josh. Guess the tornado. I mean the hurricane. Well, I need to see an infrared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I put the, you too much on the spot. It's the biggest tornado outbreak ever. Ivan. This is Ivan, and one, one thing you notice, as Josh said, it's sort of eroded on the west side, but what does it have on the east side? It's got this just beautiful, beautiful outer band. Real impressive outer band. It has a funky track. The track from hell, it goes all the way up here and it comes around and it goes whoop, and then it hits Louisiana. So it had a long area, but it's tornadoes. It produced tornadoes in Florida Panhandle, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania. But West Virginia is kind of weird. You say, well, why did it actually get up to West Virginia with the track that they that shows there? That track was, I think, a little bit off. Here's where the, the reanalysis shows us center back in here. 
So if you go a little bit earlier in the day, it's back in here. You're still in a warm sector back in here. Here's your front. If you have a front, it looks like it's back in here. Um, so still, what can you say about, about Ivan? Even when it was well inland, it's a pretty mighty circulation at 850. Greater than 50 knot winds, a lot of shear. Had a lot of shear all the way as it came up. Um, so you look for a lot of shear, look for a strong system, and your odds, <laughs> your odds get better. Uh -oh. 